Welcome everybody to a very quick sort of RC Junkie 3D print update. Um, I've been looking to make my own super single rear axle for trailers so I can put super single wheels on the back of my trailer um, and i am 3D printed these parts so I'm just going to give you a very quick video of what they do and how they work. So this is your standard front axle beam, these are your front pins, so you take these apart you 3D print this part here. Now this part is the same both sides, so you only need one and then you can just 3D print it. Okay, now they have had a look online and a lot of scale axles are actually square with rounded edges. Now this is printed in low quality just for mock-up, but you could print this in a higher quality and get a better finish. Um, just as a little side note, you ever want to get rid of these little stringing effects that you have here in your prints. Just get yourself a little candle lighter like one of these and just run the flame inside here now unfortunately i can't hold the phone and flip this up the other way but you just run the flame around and the flame will just take off all the wispy bits rather than you having to try and remove them so what you do is once you've printed two of these parts you just give them a very quick light sand just along this surface here just to make sure they are nice combined fit put the two parts together and what I have had to do because my 3d printer is not very precise at the end here is put them together and hold them together and they, they come with a hole here where you put an, a screw through so screw them together and just run a 7 mil drill inside that aperture there now I actually use a wood style drill which has a square end on it when I can find it on my desk. It's eluding me at the moment, and I shall find it at the moment. And you just run a seven mil drill in there. So then what you do, is, excuse me, I'm trying to do this whilst holding the phone, is you get the original front pin, pop it in the end of there, pop the other one in the other side, pop the two sides together, these are the original bolts that come through the center of the axle, so you will need two extras. I shall work out how long they are. I mean, what are they? They are 20 mil. 20 mil, you can use lock nuts, you can use grip nuts. And then what you do is you put the two parts together. Um, I will go and do that very quickly. Stop this and start it again once it's together and you'll see how it's combined. Okay, we're back. So I put those two halves together by using the 20 mil screws and some grip threaded grip nuts there and you put one in either end as like there bolt them together and you can put the one in the middle uh, it's not necessarily critical but it does hold the middle together quite nicely now i would recommend that once you print these you run through these holes here so those the four mounting holes the two holes either end and the hole in the middle with a three mil drill just so you end up with a nice clear mounting and just to let you know these holes are the standard width for axle mounting so if i get a standard tamiya trailer axle you can see that those holes are the right width if i can get it to line up on camera whilst looking down they are trust me they are the right width there as well so once you have that you get your super singles so these are two super singles i have here and not these are the normal off the front of the volvo f816 logger so once you bolt those two on you then end up excuse the telephone work you end up with a super single axle for the rear of your trailer now based on the axle normally sits on these bolt holes here and here excuse me it's rolling a little bit here and here um, the actual support weight is only from here to the end so I would recommend you nut and bolt this together now you could use the original three millimeter pins and put the an o-ring on and a circlip but it would not hold the plastic together tight at the ends it would only allow the point to move now on the standard ones that's not a problem because obviously this is metal and the metal carries the weight so that carries the weight against the pin against the bottom edge as where these are plastic so once you've done that I can just see if I can line this very quickly up on my board so you can see that once you've done that and you put two super singles on so you can see this is lined up with my measurement on this side of the board and this is lined up with my measurement on this side of the board you end up with a 180 mil wide track which is the standard width 
of an axle um, based on this is a standard Tamiya trailer axle so you can see here if I line that edge up there with that edge there and if you imagine there's another wheel on here you'll end up the same width so if you'd like super single axles for the rear of your Tamiya trailer and you have the spare front kingpins as you might want to call them um, you can just bolt them into this 3d printed part it took and now this is say this is in low quality for mock-up it took about an hour and 20 minutes to print um, it's fairly quick print I've designed it so that it can be printed with this side to the bed excuse me this side to the bed and you end up with a slightly better finish now you could print it standing and maybe get a better 7 mil finish to the end but the holes in the middle here and the support the layer separation will then be horizontally rather than laterally um, or vertically depending which way you want to look at it on the printer bed so I'd recommend you print it this way and just say clean up the holes with a 7 mil drill by the way this is the drill I was referring to I get it to focus I'll bring it away from the other part you can see it's a 7 mil wood drill with a flat edge and a tip so when you run that in the hole it cleans the hole and only makes a very small dimple in the end of the thing now you could run a 7 mil drill all the way through but there is a stop inside the plastic part for the um, the little insert to stop against and as you can see I mean to say there is a slight gap between these two parts but once you imagine once that's in your axle and those parts are bolted together at this point here excuse me the wheels are going to fall off they're not bolted on you pinch that together there and you'll be done so as you see that's the, it in there it's fairly solid I mean obviously you can improve the design slightly if you wanted to um, yeah once you get that plastic lined up and screwed together it does close now being this is PETG so you could glue this together because uh, you'd still be able to get the inserts out because you can take the nut out and put it through so that's a very quick video on how to make a super single 180 mil 180 millimeter wide axle using your front kingpins for your Tamiya Trader. Thanks for watching, catch you in the next one.